I have the uh, I have the problem here. So I have the DI proxy uh, prom, uh, problem here. So I need to what do I need to do? Just restart my DI proxy and try my mobile mobile once again. Okay. So um, if I got the error DI, uh, that's the call result for the license checking there. If I get the error, let's say um, unable to connect to the SBO common, unable to connect to the database server or something like that. So that means something wrong with your uh, landscape setting there. So you need to um, troubleshooting the one by one. So in that case, you need to go to the um, uh, landscape SLD and then the landscape. Uh, for, first of all, let's check the WS for the mobile. You need to be sure the right um, associate um, server IP and then slash and your company um, database there. Um, by the way, um, last time I I have a case um, with the partner. Uh, the they the customer they are using the um, the database server and with the instance name. So in that case, you need to put the instance name. You need to put your instance. You need to put your um, if you are database server uh, running with the instance name. You need to put your circle instance name here. I say my instance my instance name here. Okay. Last time they don't put the instance name now, and they they get the error. They get the error in the license checking. Say unable to uh, connecting to the um, connecting to the um, uh, SBO common there. That's because they they don't put the instance name if 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 they are if you have multiple instances in your in the database server there. Okay. So as you can see, uh, by default I connecting to my SBO um, demo US and had a quarter. And in this case, I need to be sure uh, my um, my company test connection success. So test connection uh, with the DI API connection here ne must be sure. I need to have the right one here. Again, uh, you need to uh, be sure before you uh, try to try to connect. You need to be sure that the DI connection for your company here and to success connection with the DI API success and also uh, connect with your JDBC. Um, um, success. You can troubleshooting for the connection and here maybe um, referring to the node there one by one. Maybe the wrong username or the wrong um, V1 server there. Again, if you have the um, instance, multiple instance in your V1 server there, you must put the instance name slash um, backward slash and in instance name um, um, here as well. You must put the instance name um, here um, as well. That's the way. How can um, B1 can connect to your um, B1 uh, B1 company and checking the license there? Okay, um, let's have a look at the uh, authentication monitor uh, for the success phone. What you look a success phone? What it look like there? Just now we see the arrow uh, for the for the troubleshooting. I find the 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 root cause. The root cause is something wrong with my DI proxy. Okay, in that case, I need to restart my DI proxy. There, or in some case, if there's some wrong setting um, in your uh, landscape just now, as I saw in the WS for the mobile and you know, or the, um, the the server name or username and password, that you need to um, troubleshooting uh, one by one. There, just go through the troubleshooting guide. There, okay. Let's have a look at the uh, what should be the successful um, authentication checking. Um, there, just click the um, debugging once again here, and then uh, let's go through the whole process one ag again again. Let's have a look at the final result for the troubleshoot for the result uh, for the authentication um, checking there. The first one is the V1 result true. That means I look into business one success and uh, with the username and password there. And for the license result is true. That means my license checking um, is success. That means I have the right license and DI proxy works very good. And then I have the right setting in my landscape there. Okay. And then next, let's hit. Drew down to the uh, detailed um, step for the license checking there. Again, just going to the last uh, X form and then click the um, the right bond for the X form there. And from for this case, um, as you can see, uh, I got two call incoming call. The first one is connect to the. You just check the all the information here whether you get the right information um, here uh, one by one. Just to connect. And the, uh, check the core one, checking for if I have professional 
if I have a starter package, uh, it should be have four by default. You should have four core there. Check you do you have the uh, limited CRM or limited um, financial um, user there. So and then as you can see the the core. Let's have a look at the core result. Uh, for for the core result there. Uh, okay, for the core result, I get the uh, core result uh, for my um, uh, for my professional uh, for my professional user there. Uh, for my professional user, because I have the professional user um, for my uh, ma manager user there, so I get the uh, right um, um, license checking, license assigned uh, to my system there. And then also I, because I don't have the starter package, so the call is out uh, for the checking the starter package, so it's false. So never mind. Um, you are checking as long as you have the professional or starter package or limited user, and then you should be able to use um, the mobile package. And by the way, uh, we just uh, SAP just find out um, there were one um, license, there were one, one license um, type. Um, 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 that is the CRM standalone um, user. There's not, they are not um, a professional. They are not limited user, but they are like a user system, a user license type. Um, CRM standalone sales, um, CRM standalone sales um, service. That kind of a um, user right now uh, for the mobile package um, um, SAP and uh, do not. Um, uh, you are unable to connect to the mobile, and SFE is working on that. Uh, whether to enable uh, for the um, CRM standalone user and or not, just stay tuned. Stay tuned there. And all right, so that's the basically how can you um, troubleshooting the um, um, the permission deny information there. So again, just um, um, go through them uh, one by one here. And I think the most useful uh, thing you learn about here is just debugging in inside, debugging um, into the authentication, debugging into the authentication log um, here, uh, one by one. And by the way, if you see the authentication uh, log here, that means uh, the request, the connection is okay. Uh, that means the firewall connection, the the network connection between your iPhone and uh, your B1i. Um, F server is fine. Now the the, the next point is the, the login. What are the login information? The login information is um, if you have a okay, that means the login information, the setting for the username and password for the device and phone number is okay. But the point is the for the uh, checking for the checking uh, authentication there. And then if you would like to s to find the exact error there, just go into the um, debug, and then you find. One by one, um, there. Um, one by one, there. If you have a file, if you if you have a force uh, for the license checking result, there you need to um, um, do them um, one by one to find the right to find the exact error there, and then you will you'll be able to troubleshooting uh, with this exact root cause there. You just uh, find it out the right. The outbound payload, the call result. You find just have a look at the call result, um, call result there, and then you say the as you can see in my case, it's the approx some problem, or maybe some cases some um, unable to connect to the my um, database server or something like that. Uh, then that means you need to go to um, the landscape SOD to make sure the uh, connection and and the setting uh, for the WS um, is the right one there. Okay. And that's it. And about the the second issue, uh, the very general one about the permission deny. Okay, let's move on to the to the next um, um, issue there. The next one is about the uh, processing fail and internal error and uh, contact your system administrator. Maybe in some cases you are you you are the system administrator, but you contact yourself. Oh, just kidding. And for the um, for the root cause for this kind of uh, processing internal error, internal 